Hello guys, how are you? In today's session, we are going to talk about scales of measurement. So let's get started. When I when I am talking about scales of measurement, some people are think like piece of length of a uh, piece of wood, like length in the meters and centimeters, something like that. And some people things like measuring a quantity of something like a kg of flour, a cup a cup of flour in kilograms, grams, something like that. But here I'm not talking about length of something or a uh, measuring a quantity. But here I'm talking about scales of measurement. which refers to ways in which variables numbers and are defined and categorized so when we use some numbers in a different ways like we when we use in some numbers in different format so according to that format we segregate that numbers according to that usage so we have total four scales of measurement which are nominal ordinal interval and ratio so let's talk more about on these so first is nominal categorical data and numbers that are simply used as identifiers or names represent a nominal scale of measurement when we have some text data like when we have some text format to avoid to use that text format we use some numbers in the representation of that text value like as you see the sportsmen when our sportsmen were playing on field then on back of their t-shirt their name and some numbers are written so that number represent that sportsman and their name so here that number is came under the nominal scale of measurement and also you can say that when i am giving some data to the system and data is in the 01 format when the system takes in or gives out so that numbers are representing 1 and 0 are representing high and low so that representation of numbers rather than using the text value we can say that nominal scale of representation are using also we can say that rather than using female and male we i can use 1 and 2 1 for female and 2 for male so this is what the nominal scale of measurement are next we talk about ordinal scale of measurement and ordinal scale of measurement represents an ordered series of relationship or rank order like we have when we have to scale something according to 1 to 10 like there is a race and the then comes the person like first person which comes in the first place then second person which comes in second place then third person and when we have to scale that persons according to their race then we can say that we are using ordinal format and ordinal scale of measurement to represent those person in the format of 1 to 10 in the format of numbers or you can say like here like how much cold and how much hot is there then we can use like fahrenheit and celsius then those fahrenheit and celsius are also came under this ordinal scale of measurement where the numbers are used as to scale the hotness and coldness coldness of the weather or the surroundings so you can say that the numbers which used to scale something that numbers are came into the ordinal scale of measurement then comes the interval here interval as you can see that when we have to provide some range in our data set or when you we have to provide some range in some areas then that range of numbers are comes in the internal interval scale of measurement as you can see when we have to measure the c height then we use the scale measurement and when then we use the this interval scale of measurement then means the how much interval and how much the scale in how much interval the c level is in so when we use some intervals then we use this scale value and here zero represent a simply an additional point of measurement is as an interval scale here zero is not the absolute zero value but here are some numbers which comes under the zero also like if we use minus like 10 minus 10 degree fahrenheit and that is not our absolute zero value it is lower than that so zero here, here zero is not a absolute zero value then comes the ratio here when we are saying the ratio scale of measurement then zero is the absolute zero value like no measurement comes under the zero here 
if i want to say uh, example like length and breadth of a rectangle so length and breadth of a rectangle uh, cannot be less than 0 so here the length and breadth are the are comes under the ratio scale of measurement also if i want to say like height and weight of a person so height and weight of a person can't be zero they cannot be zero and also they cannot be less than zero so here the values are larger than the zero and that's all comes under the ratio so that's all for these scales of measurement where we talk about these four scales of measurement and talk about more deep on that so that's all for today's session and i hope you all understand this so thank you bye bye take care